we we talked about this uh out of on, uh, off camera and uh you can speak on it as as much as you'd like but uh the right you're very involved with the shutting down of Rikers and uh the ch- even the changing of Rikers from what i understand but um we you know I, we talked about Khalif Browder in the car and uh you you shared your thoughts and and views with me on that if you, if you would mind sharing with the people what what we talked about about Khalif Browder oh. and that situation that happens in Rikers well well people who know me know my position in that uh, I've been in Rikers too often too too many times and been through the same type of pain and turmoil uh, rest in peace that the brother Khalif Browder been in rest in peace uh, so but my issue is not really with the situation it's just how everybody else decided to gravitate and get involved with it. Uh, it made the situation seem like it was uh, solely just the system or just Rikers, uh, but not understanding the individual individual mind. Uh, because I, I and many other brothers has been through a lot worse than that. Right? I don't, I don't, you know, going to uh, me as a 14 year old. Yeah. The first time I walked into Rikers in the infirmary, I was beat up by correction officers. Went to the, um, the the intake house with a black eye. Wow. Um, that was, um, you know, 16 year old first time going in. Damn. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? All because I fell asleep in, um, in the infirmary. He was calling my name. And I didn't hear him. I've been, those days, they had us in uh, the central bookings for about seven days. So but you got to go through the infirmary. I'm tired. And he called me. So I'm like, is that your name? So he's like, you don't hear me calling your fucking name? I said, yo, who the fuck is you cursing at? I'm 16. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, wow. He hit me. I hit him right back. Right? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm 16, reflex. But my mommy told you nobody hit me. Yeah. Right? Um, how dare I? And they, you know, um, somebody said, well, you shouldn't hit him back. We well, shouldn't hit me. Right? <laughs> but point is, that wasn't, that shouldn't have been a response that I got coming in today at a young 16 For sure. So think about going forward, how I begin to respond and react. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just really looking at that system and understanding that so many people are going to go through it. Some people are going to deal with it differently. Yeah. Um, how he dealt with it and how he left and what he'd been through. Um, that's an individual um, and to see if I just feel like people just saw a story to gravitate to and, and, and ran with that story that's just my position on that I feel like there's so many other brothers who went through worse and nobody's hearing their story right yeah. um, but they didn't take they didn't commit suicide they're out there still living their life and focusing we gotta find those individuals and hear their stories as well yes I totally uh, I you know you, you hear a lot about Rikers and you hear a lot about people that are trying to reform Rikers and and do things for Rikers. What is it that make Ry- Rikers? What what is it that makes Rikers so different than a lot of the other jails and prisons in America? Okay. So Rikers, right? When you when you um hit Rikers, first of all, you got to cross the bridge. Yeah. Uh, bridge. This bridge take about three minutes to get over. I say two to three minutes to get over. Long bridge, and they say it's the longest bridge in the world because it take you two, three minutes to get over, and it take you years before you cross that bridge free again, right? <laughs> uh, but the jail, um, the, the the Rikers facility was actually started around a slave owner, Riker, oh. uh, and um, they used to transport slaves into Rikers Island before they turned into a prison. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, and it's so many different facilities there, and the culture of violence there, right? Um, you got all the bubbles in New York City, right? mingling, interacting, you know, you don't know what's possible to happen in there yeah. because of that, right? Uh, what beats a um, state, I mean, a borough to borough. But Riker's uh, energy is just the correction officers also, right? Yeah. Or not getting the, the help and assistance they need. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I do work with them now, right? And I identify that by being there, seeing how they respond. Yeah. Uh, what people is not looking at is that they're being put into this environment with criminals who are fighting, right? Who are uh, Un- treated unjustly because of excessive bails. Mm-hmm. So, so many young people on Rikers because they just can't pay the bail. And bail wasn't made to be excessive. It was, it was it, bail was made to ensure that you return to court, mm-hmm. not to hold you in, you know, and to be detained, right? To continue to change that, to add to the, the aggression in your mind. Uh, so, when you look at the, the, the culture of Rikers, right, you also look at the fact that those seals are coming having to deal with that, mm. right? All right, so a seal may be on they, what they supposed to do, 20, 25, 30 years, depending, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, they're going home, but they're coming home, they're coming to work every day to be incarcerated for those hours that they have to work. Yeah. Right? So now they're constantly being challenged, and 
any any man or woman that feels like they're constantly being challenged will feel at a certain point, I'm not going to continue to be challenged, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to respond to the negative. So now I'm responding to the negative. COs and, and inmates respond to the negative, and all you have is negativity. Nobody's working to, to heal the issues. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah.